Here at the Wolfson Archives, we're accustomed to providing film and video for an almost endless variety of media projects, from documentaries to local news shows, from student films to Academy Award-winning feature films. But when Miami-based Cuban-American artist Juana Valdez came to the archives looking for historic film and video images to integrate into an artwork, it was a bit of a departure for us. Using video in her art was a departure for Valdez as well. Normally I work in sculpture. I work collecting objects and recycling objects. Um, and I work in photography. I work with ceramics and clay, primarily bone china. And so this is the first time that I'm ever working in video. It has been really rewarding, actually. Um, also working with the archives. I've never, I've collected, but collecting and, and working with objects that you repurpose is very different to working with this pre-made material by somebody else. And so that's been uh, an interesting find for me. It's like the little jewel in, in the cavern that I was not expecting. Once I started to work with video, I was interested in bringing these three ways in which we're accustomed to seeing image. One are these older C CR CRT TVs, which kind of are boxy and square, and the format is 4.3 ratio, and so it's a very different from the format that we're getting used to now. You have the new video, which I sort of directed and produced myself and then worked with editors. And then the monitors on the back really begin a new investigation of the possibility in working with signage video. That is also new, I've never done that before. So I'm really excited in terms of what that possibility opens up. The archive for me, especially because the majority is in black and white, it really goes back to almost photography. I wanted to have something that gave me the sense of authenticity of actual fact. Before we were using books, I think contemporary history, especially the 20th century, will be looked at through media. And that was part of the decision I decided to go into the archive. The moving image has the ability to captivate people a little longer. And so I decided to use that in a way through the archives and the contemporary footage to hold the viewer uh, as long as I possibly can to be able to put through the message. I wanted to focus on what it has been like through the media for Cubans to be coming, arriving in the United States and how the media had chronicled that experience. In the video that I produced over last year, we did it partially in Juno and in Jupiter, that takes you from beginning to end of what the journey would be for someone migrating from uh, through the sea. It's a little bit exaggerated because for a lot of the Cubans who come, they really don't have anything to bring. I was really taken back about back a couple of years ago, which is how the project begins with all the immigrants that were coming in from Syria and from Turkey and, and Africa and in Europe. That sense of loss that's been taking place for so long uh, really created an, an urgency in me to produce and make this work. Did you find everything you were looking for in the archives? I found a lot of new things. I found what I was looking for. I found uh, a lot of new uh, images. I didn't know that they had already begun to record like the revolution here in the United States and especially in Miami. Going in into an archive is like going into the, the, the whole of Alice in Wonderland, right? You just go in, you go into one place and it leads you to another room and another room and, a, and you could just, you could stay there forever. <laughs> it's amazing. 